What's going on guys, it's your boy ENG here and I'm back with another video for you guys and I know that I haven't been uploading from the past few days that's because I'm filming a video and it's taking days and days so the film of all these days will be combined and put together for a single video and it's pretty less video so make sure you stay tuned onto my channel and if you aren't subscribed make sure you subscribe to my channel and hit the bell notification icon as well so that whenever I upload the new stuff you can see that so yeah in today's video we will be seeing the unboxing of Sobo WP508 head it's a hang on filter which we will be putting on this aquarium back here might be wondering what happened to the previous filter which I unboxed for this aquarium I shifted it to another aquarium let me show it to you guys oh so there you go guys as you can see it's right over there I put it in my molly tank and I wanted to update you on these guys. Can you see how big, how well they have grown? Both the angelfish, they were so tiny when I bought them. And even this is the tiniest pleco which I have ever bought. And it isn't tiny anymore. So yeah, let's go to the unboxing. So yeah guys this is really a cheap hang on filter and yeah it's the model WP508 hedge it's a slim hanging filter and on the top it's there like mechanical chemical biological filtration system ideal for fresh water as well as marine water and it says that it's easy to clean so yeah there's nothing else on the box but from all uh, the labeling and stuff and same information and here's the size 50mm and 28mm and yeah here's the details the description about the motor AC 220 to 240 volts 50 or 60 hertz and power is 6.8 watts and flow maximum flow the maximum flow is 680 liters per hour and yeah there you go let's begin the unboxing so there you go guys let's open the filter it comes in a really good and safe packaging as you can see right over here this is the filter as you can see and oops and yeah this stuff is the motor of course the power head which sucks the water in and puts it in our filter and what else is in there oh yeah there's a manual i guess who needs this right let's put this on the side and let's bring out the filter so there you go this is how the filter looks is having a really sleek design as you can see I guess we can elongate this as well and let's open this it's all taped up let me remove the tape Oops. so yeah that's the taping removed and the top looks really cool it's really sleek and that's the internal media there is four of them as you can see i don't know what this stuff is i guess it's carbon yeah i guess it's carbon as you can see there's visible it's visible something black is visible in there and that's definitely carbon so yeah we need to assemble that before assembling let me show you guys the motor and stuff This is what comes in with the motor. So there you go, that's the sponge. 
which will be there beneath the motor and that's you go that's the power head which will suck the water in as you can see it's pretty small as well and this will protect your aquarium from the hang-on filter so yeah now let's assemble it with the time lapse So there you go guys, all our media is in and the motor, the power head is connected with the filter, everything is assembled and this is what I said will be protecting the aquarium from the filter, it will prevent it from touching and vibrating, causing damage to the aquarium, so yeah. The water will be sucked in from this power head and it will come out from this, so this is water outlet, outlet and this is the water inlet right over here, so yeah, now let's put it into our aquarium and test it out so yeah guys our filter is assembled and before going to put it into our aquarium let me say that you should rinse this out and as well as make sure you keep the valve over here open so that you don't spill the water so yeah let's go let's check out how the filter works you know the top doesn't really fit over there, you need to use the help of the tape which came with it, or else you can use if you have some. So yeah, now let's put it into our aquarium. So yeah, now let's put it in our aquarium. Let me get the top off. Here you go guys, our hang-on filter is on there. Now let me get you guys out of there and let's turn on the filter. Let me turn you guys around. Here you go guys, this is how the filter looks on the aquarium. And yeah, this motor should go inside. I have elongated it a bit. And yeah, as I was saying that this thing right over here protects it from our protects our aquarium from all the vibrations this filter makes and yeah now as you can see it in the light there are all carbon media in all these filters as you can see the small black particles that is all carbon media so yeah now let's plug it in I bet we can't put the top on after we put this filter on uh, my top one foot as I said we have to make some custom tops if we want oh yeah that looks pretty good like that but yeah now let's plug the filter in so yeah guys the filter is plugged in and as you can see the water is all filled up in the back over here and it comes out from over here and that it looks beautiful it gives like a waterfall effect and yeah as the water from my aquarium went in over here it reduced the level of water in my aquarium so now I need to fill this up and yeah so yeah guys as I did in my last video I updated you for a few days so this is how the aquarium looks right now so i will be updating you guys within few hours or the next day hey. 
tomorrow so yeah guys there you go it's the next morning and the water looks pretty clean and the filter is working pretty good i can say as you can see the whole color of these filters have changed and yeah we can't say until we turn on the light so yeah let's turn on the light and have a look so there you go guys the water looks much clearer but all that waste is coming up just because i turned on the light and it's spooking my goldfishes and yeah these goldfishes need to be moved soon as they grow very well they are now very big so yeah these are for something i bought these for something we need to move them as well you will be seeing that in the video after this video so yeah the filter works pretty good everything looks fine apart from my trees they are disoriented so yeah as you can see everything is fine except the trees they are disoriented because of this flow right over here so yeah i had to fill the water in but i didn't fill because this flow from here it looks dope and yeah i think i might cut the top off from over here so that it might fit pretty well and look more better so yeah guys that's it for today's video if you enjoyed the video make sure you hit the like button and yeah share it as well and if you are new to my channel make sure you subscribe to my channel and hit the bell notification icon as well because the next video is gonna be really dope i have been waiting for it for so long it will be many many days of filming put together which you will be watching the next video so yeah until the next time peace out